Shushruta, a peep into the past. Shushruta was an Indian Ayurvedic physician widely regarded as the father of Indian medicine or father of surgery and father of plastic surgery. He wrote one of the earliest one he wrote one of the one of the world's earliest works on medicine and surgery. Shushruta was known as the as the main author of the treatise the compendium of shushruta shushruta samhita 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 shushruta samhita shushruta was known as the main author of the treatise the compendium of sush shushruta 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 samhita during those days physician treated human beings uh, physicians treating human beings were also trained in the care of care of the animals the principle of animal surgery are effectively the same as that of human surgery indian medical treaties like chakra charaka charaka susruta and harita samhitas contain chapters or references about care of the diseased as well as the as well as the healthy animals there were however physicians who specialized only in the care of animals or even in one class of animals the greatest of them of them all was shali hotra the father of veterinary science to shushruta gained all the knowledge of surgery Though Shalihotra gained all the knowledge of surgery from Shushruta and implemented it in animal health care, once he asked Shushruta what all he would need to perform a surgery on a wonderful horse, Shushruta very quickly listed down all the instruments and medicine that will be needed. Three things are missing, Shalihotra said. Confused, Shushruta looked at him. I will give you a week to find them. Shalihotra consoled. Console a panel containing a set of control controls. Sushruta, Sush, Sush, Sushruta is the father of Indian medicine, or father of surgery, or father of plastic surgery. And his treatise name is the Compendium of Sushruta, Sushruta Samhita. And then. Uh, then Shalihotra. Shalihotra is the father of veterinary science. And then Shalihotra asked Shushruta what all he would need to perform surgery on a wonderful, wonderful horse. Treatise. Treatise means a formal written work on a subject. Formal written work on a subject. Curious to find out what those three things were, Shushruta observed his teacher carefully for the next one week. Curious means eager to know something. Compassion, pity and concern. Compassion means pity and concern. Before operating the horse, Shalihotra observed every part of the horse and then Shushruta found the first missing thing. A good vet, uh, veterinarian, veterinarian should have an eagle's eye. Then Shalyotra treated the animal as if it were his own, balancing science and compassion equally. And Shushruta found his second rule. A good veteri vet veterinarian, veterinarian should have a lion's heart. Shalyotra helped the horse recover after surgery. Shushruta came, came to know that a good veterinarian veterinarian should have a mother's touch too so the three things were a good veterinarian should have an eagle's eye a good veterinarian should have a lion's heart a good veterinarian should have a mother's touch too an eagle's eye means good observation skills and a lion's a lion's heart means brave you should have a brave brave heart and a mother's touch mother's touch means love and compassion 
the the the, the veterinarian should uh, should be love and compassionate towards the uh, toward and uh, towards the animal a tradition of veterinary veterinary therapy developed very early in india and this has survived to the present time based on ayurveda ayurveda indian veterin veterinary medicine is known for its specialized literature which provides information on ancient method of preventing and treating disease diseases of animals some of these treatments little known outside india are still practiced today the oldest existing existing veterinary text from india is a treatise entitled asvayur asvayur veda siddhanta complete ayurvedic system for horses attributed to shalihotra around 2350 bc before christ the founder of veterinary medicine subsequently various treatises on horses and diseases of horses were composed nakula one of the five pandavas was a horse specialist himself among the best known works of animal literature is asva chikitsa asva chikitsa therapeutics of horses written by nakula later during the region of chandra chandragupta maurya around around 300 bc veterinarians veterinarians started accompanying armies to treat horses elephants as well as cattle matlab chandragupta maurya ke time pe jo veterinary veterinarians veterinarians the उन्होंने आर्मी आर्मी को कंपनी कर लिया क्योंकि उनको घोड़े टी घोड़े को घोड़े का इलाज करना था हाथी का इलाज करना था और कैटल का भी इलाज करना था तो इन लोग ने आर्मी को कंपनी कर लिया आर्मी में बहुत सारे घोड़े और हाथी इंजर हो जाते हैं द ग्रेट एम्पर अशोका इरेक्टेड द फर्स्ट नोन वेटेरिनरी हॉस्पिटल ऑफ द वर्ल्ड He arranged the cultivation of the herbal medicine for men and animal in his empire and adjoining kingdom. Giving the animal, giving the animal general tonics and stimulants was practiced in order to ensure good mental and physical health. Prevention of the occurrence of diseases was also given importance. Cleanliness of animal, cleanliness of animals, maintenance of stalls and stables, quality of food. डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ ओवर फीडिंग वर लुकड आफ्टर मतलब एम्पर अशोका ने पहला वेटीनरी हॉस्पिटल बनाया था दुनिया का और वो मेडिसिन के कल्टिवेशन कल्टिवेशन ऑफ हॉर्बल कल्टिवेशन मतलब उगाना और कलेक्ट करना उगाना मेडिसिन को हॉर्बल हॉर्बल मेडिसिन फॉर मैन एंड एनिमल इन इज एम्पायर एंड एड ज्वाइनिंग किंगडम्स और वो लोग एनिमल को टॉनिक्स देते थे टॉनिक देते थे और स्टिमुलेंट्स देते थे जिससे कि वो शांत हो जाए एनिमल अगर बहुत अग्रेसिव है तो थोड़ा शांत हो जाए प्रिवेंशन ऑफ द करेंस ऑफ डिजीज वॉज ऑल्सो गिवन इम्पोर्टेंस क्लिनलीनेस क्लिनलीनेस ऑफ एनिमल मेंटेनेंस मेंटेनेंस ऑफ स्टॉल इन स्टेबल क्वालिटी ऑफ फूड डिसएडवाटेजेस ऑफ ओवर फीडिंग वर लुकड आफ्टर मतलब तबेले बनाना स्टॉल बनाना अच्छी क्वालिटी का खाना देना यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ एनिमल बाय प्रोडक्ट वॉज ऑल्सो डन वाइजली बाय आर एंसेस्टर्स द कन्वर्जन ऑफ मिल्क इन टू बटर घी कर्ड खोआ खोआ एक्सेट्रा वॉज अ कॉमन प्रैक्टिस एंड स्टेल एज चिकन वॉज वॉज यूटिलाइज फॉर इट्स मीट वाइल शीप वॉज यूटिलाइज फॉर यूटिलाइज फॉर इट्स वुल देखो ये आप याद रहो कन्वर्जन ऑफ मिल्क इनटू बटर घी कर्ड खोआ एक्सेट्रा वाज अ कॉमन प्रैक्टिस एंड स्टिल इज चिकन वाज यूटिलाइज्ड फॉर इट्स मीट एंड शीप वाज यूटिलाइज्ड फॉर इट्स वुल ऑल दो इंडिया हैज ऑलवेज हैड इमेंस नॉलेज इन द फील्ड ऑफ वेटीनरी वेटीनरी साइंसेज इट इज नॉट चूज इन एज अ करियर 
by many due to lack of awareness being an agriculture being an agriculture based country today india needs more veterinarians who em- empath- empathize empathize with animals and give their cent percent to the profession cent percent or 100 percent to the profession dr chiran tana chiran tana mat kari okay ye ye dekho who was who was shushruta shushruta was an indian ayurvedic physician widely regarded as the father father of indian medicine and father of surgery and father of plastic surgery he wrote one of the world's earliest works on medicine and surgery shushruta was known as the main author of the treatise the compendium of susruta susruta samhita who was shalihotra uh there were there were physicians who specialized only in the care of animals or even in one class of animals the greatest of of them of them all was shalihotra the father of veterinary sciences okay what question did shalihotra asked shushruta question was what all would shushruta need to perform a surgery on a wonderful horse how long a period did shalihotra allow to find the missing things shalihotra allowed one week to find the missing things how did shushruta find the missing things select the appropriate answer appropriate answer would be by observing his teacher carefully and thinking about what he did who erected the first known veterinary hospital of the world the great emperor ashoka erected the first known veterinary hospital of the world what were the three things that shushruta discovered shushruta discovered before operating the horse shalihotra observed every part of the horse then shushruta found the first missing thing a good veterin- veterinarian should have an eagle's eye then Sh- shalihotra treated the animal as if it were his own balancing science and compassion equally and shushruta found his second rule a good veterin- veterinarian should have a lion's heart and shushruta helped the horse recover after after the surgery shushruta ke shalihotra helped the horse recover after the surgery shushruta came to know that a good veterinarian should have a mother's touch too okay so these are the three things explain the meaning of the following phrases an eagle's eye this means good, good observation skills a lion's heart means a way a very brave very brave person a mother's touch this means a love and caring care, caring okay then uh, we come here the care of animals in the regime of emperor ashoka utilization of animal by products in the ancient world so the great uh, emperor ashoka giving the animal general tonics yahan se aayega answer answer 5b giving the animal general tonics and stimulants was practiced in order to ensure good mental mental and physical health prevention of the occurrences of diseases was also given importance cleanliness of animal and cleanliness of animals maintenance of stalls and stables quality of food disadvantages of overfeeding were also looked after or uh, and then uh, utilization of utilization of animal animal by product utilization of animal by product in the ancient world its ka answer ye hai conversion of milk into butter ghee curd khoa 
etc. was a common practice and still is. Chicken was utilized for its meat while sheep was utilized for its wool. Okay. Now see. Uh, occupation and necessary qualities. Student should be disciplined, honest. Teacher should be non-biased. Housewife should be loving and caring. Sportsman should be consistent. Artist should be creative. Singer should have a good voice. Author should have qualities like writing, reading, research. Empire should be non-biased and alert. Actor, learning, confidence, creativity. Scientist, experimental mindset, curiosity, problem solving, learning, patience. This page eight page will be. Frame questions beginning with the following words, based on the above, based on the above passage: Who, what, where, when, how, why? Who was Shushruta? What is needed to perform a surgery on a wonderful horse? Where was the tradition of veterinary veterinary therapy developed? <coughs> when did veterin Veterinarians, veterinarians started accompanying armies. How did Shushruta find the missing things? Why is veterinary science not chosen as a career in India? Shushruta, a peep into the past. Okay. Narrate the story of Shushruta in your own words. Shushruta was an Indian Ayurvedic physician, widely regarded as the father of. Indian medicine or father of surgery or father of plastic surgery. One day Shushruta asked one day Shalihotra asked Shushruta what all would be needed to perform a surgery on a wonderful horse. Shushruta very quickly listed down all the instruments and medicine that he would be need that he would be needed that would be needed. Shalihotra said to Shushruta that three things are missing. Shushruta found the missing things. These were a good veterinarian should have an eagle's eye a good veterinarian should have a lion's heart a good veterinarian should have a mother's touch too write short notes on the following veterinary science in ancient india veterinary therapy developed very early in india based on ayurveda indian veterinary Medicines is known for its specialized literature, which provides information on ancient methods, on ancient methods of preventing and treating diseases of animals. Shalihotra, the founder of veterinary medicine, he has been attributed the oldest existing veterinary text treatise entitled Asvayurveda Siddhanta, complete Ayurvedic system for horses. Shalihotra. The founder of veterinary medicine. He has been attributed the oldest existing veterinary text treatise entitled Asvayurveda Siddhanta, Complete Ayurvedic System Systems for Horses. Note this pair of words care carefully, equal equally. Here we here we see the letters L Y are added at the end of the word to make another word. A letter or a group of letter letters added. At the end of the word to make another word is called a suffix. Use of suffix ly to make use suffix ly to make other words of the following: subsequent, subsequently, frequent, frequently, wise, wisely, immense, immensely, beautiful, beautifully. Find two examples each of each of the words made by using the following suffixes: ness or let, full, shun, shun, why. Ness, awareness, cleanliness, or recover, career, full, wonderful, sorrowful, painful, shun, shin, information, cultivation, profession. Why? Quickly, carefully, equally, veterinary. Let, booklet, armlet, leaflet, owlet. Thank you.